I do, folks. Just a quick one. <laughs> Just a fucking quick one. Um, <coughs> how you doing? <laughs> Listen, I've got a, I've got a cover song first. We're gonna have a bit of a chat. This one, we are gonna have a bit of a chat. Um, but I've got to cover something first. You, you've all gone bonkers with me. I don't get it. I don't what I do. Thank you, Robert. Um, but my phone, my emails, my messengers are just going off the fucking hook. Um, <laughs> can't be kept up with. Behave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for giving a shit or for thinking I can help, but uh, I've got to lay some ground rules here because over the last few days the influx has got to the point of ridiculous and I haven't got the time of day. I know as you're coming to me, you are just one one soul coming to me with a problem or with uh, wanting clarification or information. But I am just one soul getting literally hundreds and hundreds contacting me constantly while I'm actually doing shit. So anyway, uh, it's getting really tough, so I do need to lay some ground rules. First of all, and one thing most important, my phone cannot be answered just because it rings. So anybody trying to contact me through Messenger, through WhatsApp, or just thinks, oh, I'll just chance it and call me, sorry, cannot do that. If I answer the phone, whatever I'm doing is dropped. I'm talking to you for over an hour, and then, uh, I'm in the middle of summer and now I don't know where the fuck I am and it just ruins my day and then obviously if I allow it the next one's already done it and doing it again and then again and again through the day so it just cannot be allowed I cannot take calls I wish I did have the time to talk to everybody and it's not through thinking I'm better than anybody it's just there is not physically the time in the day also folks wanting to send me the work can't do it I used to do it, I've tried to do it, and that also when you think about it, if I've got 10 people a day sending me their work and there's 30 pages or 20 pages in their work and saying just read through that and let me know, and I read through it and I have things I find that I need to point out, so I point out and then they go, oh, how do I do that then? And then you can imagine what goes on, each one of them would be an entire day's work just to sort out. So I can't do that, I'm afraid. Um, I can't answer questions on what I call small world problems. I know they're huge to you and I don't undermine that in any way, shape or form, but debt collectors and such like, I don't have time for getting wrapped up with them anymore. Robert on Observation Deck has done an absolutely fantastic book diffusing the debt bomb. It's less than 20 quid. You can get it, go on to his channel, go on to any of his videos and in the list under there it tells you exactly where it is. Diffusing the debt bomb book, you can click that link so I don't need to be answering what's the links to this, that and the other. Court Rules is a Facebook group, that is uh, not my group, I tell people. The link I've put on loads of my videos people are constantly asking me for, I can't keep giving links and because I'm having to go back to click it up when you could just click in Facebook Court Rules and find it that's that my group wonky world I've linked it in loads of the videos and put it on loads of the uh, um, comments it's a Facebook group a wonky world uh, it, I, I, I. it looks like it's uh, wonky world 3 but it's I, I, I. but anyway um, that's that uh, I've got to tell folks it isn't a law group that's where I spend most of my time dealing with uh, banter trying to get it out of my head um, it's, a, it's a group that deals with truth in because I am a deep truther as well deals with all truth in issues it's a really nice friendly and funny very funny place to be and that can lead into other groups that uh, do other things but please don't come in there just saying I've got this law problem because it don't work this way I'd love to be able to handle everybody's problems it's impossible. I'd already stated just before this massive influx had come on how I needed this to slow down and unfortunately it's just fucking exploded in my lap like a bomb. So love to you all and I really do wish I could deal with everybody's issues. It's just literally physically impossible. I haven't got a team of folks doing this. This is me. Just me. So if you want to talk to me, that's time that I give and I can't just give it to literally everybody who wants to call me for any problem they've got. It just, there isn't the time. And 
I would love to get a life somewhere in all this, but my life is not my own as it is. So I can't accept an absolute explosion of just taking over my life, because it ain't mine to give. It's already been took. So anyway, folks, please be respectful of that and be mindful of it when you're contacting me. And be sure what you're contacting me about is, is something that I've actually got time to deal with or can deal with. Um, sovereignty issues, privacy, evidence in yourself, uh, discuss trusts, or just discuss all things like this. But small world problems, I can't, can't deal with like that. Uh, if people send me emails, I'll try and get back to everybody as quick as possible. I've always had a, pro, a uh, process of I will respond to literally everybody the same day. I can't do this anymore. The just fucking emails alone on the last two days have just took all of my time, literally. And I've had shit loads of other things I've had to spend the entire night doing. So anyway, that's the shitty side of things done. And I'm going to leave that there because I've pulled up because I don't like doing this. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read you something. I don't prepare anything ever. I don't like preparing things, and I haven't prepared this for this. Um, and it's actually quite a few years ago. I don't know how long ago. But it is quite a few years ago when I wrote this. Um, and it was, as I remember rightly, it was because folks didn't get the first step of it. And it's been pointed out to me as, I'm, as I've been telling folks uh, this, that and the other that there is a part of this that I've actually missed. And and this part is the fact that folks aren't getting what this trust is in the first place. Uh, so I do apologise for that because I've been thinking I'm talking to a level where everybody gets, but I have forgotten the fact that a lot of people don't even know this trust exists. I actually made a video yesterday explaining this trust, <clears throat> but then I thought to myself, you know, you wrote that thing years ago, and wouldn't it be better just to read it to them because it's something that I, I wrote for purpose to bring it right down to, to base level um, before probably I'd got to a point where I was possibly losing folks, I don't know. And, uh, and I think it would probably be a really simple way of uh, explaining it. Now, as I say, I wrote it years ago. I've literally just printed it out to run out with me. I haven't even had time to read it myself to even see how accurate it is. So don't fucking, if anybody goes, ah, <laughs> I'm doing my best here, you wanna see my fucking day. I ain't got time to shit. So, uh, so what I've done, I've done this in the hope that this will make sense of it for some folk and then that would be an awful lot of emails I'm getting that I wouldn't have to get. Please don't inundate me with questions on this, what I'm about to read you. My emails are going bonkers as it is. Look at Court Rules, the Facebook group. Go in there, find it, search it yourself. I don't need to be the one that gives you the link. Um, try finding it and uh, get in there and have a read of that stuff because that will teach you who the person is and uh, and who the man and woman is. There's lots of information there. But anyway, here we go. Gumshoe Sleuth's introduction to your person and a pointer in taking control. In 1666, during the false flag attack known as the Fire of London, Parliament was in session passing the Sesta Covey Act. You can say that in any way you like, Sesta K, Sesta Covey, there's all sorts of ways of saying it, in the guise of setting the affairs of those who go missing. As coincidentally, London was burning, they declared everyone missing and dead and gave seven years to prove life and receive their Sesta Covey trust and their life would be settled. Some incentive to sign a piece of paper. Huh? That's how you take control of a population. Fast forward to you being born, many years of removing the truth of the fund and hiding it from women and men alike, a live born record was created, but then your parents registered your birth, never in the history of registration has it ever been for your benefit, nor ever will be. They handed over their property to the nasties, that was you you and your babies over to them who wrapped it up in a trust and made your parents the trustees of the newly acquired property now the parents because of registering and handling the child over to the state must maintain a certain level of duty of care and towards the state as, as well as the child sorry it's dribbled a bit there so I'm trying to sort that out as I go um, this is for giving the child away 
and any trans and transgressions can be punishable. Social services, whatever you like to call them, can interfere. Just because the property was given freely away to the state, you can be taken and disappeared into black hole of social services as a child and kidnapped by that organisation. But for now, your parents are just the keeper and the holder of liability. The trustee, who must present the Vatican's possession for vaccinations, send them for, to indoctrination camps to be programmed as a pro productive and compliant slave. Hospitals can hold you hostage and refuse your parents access and make decisions of life and death just because your parents signed you away when they signed these papers and their rights away. Fast forward 15 years and five months. The government property now receives their national insurance number and their bond, the birth certificate created. It is now floated on the stock market. This is your national insurance number, all other countries, whatever they call social insurance or uh, all sorts of names. This fund is supposed to settle your life. Many folks are trying to get this money. Many groups, groups secretly have this as a goal. They will never receive it. It is, not, it is not for them. This is for the parasites and will never be handed over in the way they think. Now that being said, it doesn't mean it cannot be accessed in any way, shape or form. Just not mainly what folks think that they're going to do. They set it up that way. <clears throat> they use their slaves as stock, chattel. They, we are sold and traded like cattle. Your bond is always at work. It should settle any claims made against you, but the knowledge has been hidden from you and bastardized out of all recognition. So we have to come to the terms that we will not be getting this money. We have to learn to stop contracting to this system. The answer lies in contract law, trust law and common law, the jurisdiction of living man. The entire system depends on you being a vessel that was birthed in admiralty jurisdiction floating on the seas of commerce, lost at sea, presumed dead because you did not present yourself within seven years of registration as being alive with your live-born record. Now you are just cattle. And every day of your life, somewhere, somewhere is making money from you and your trust. Every time you sign your signature, it creates a bond that is monetized, no matter where or how your signature does have value. Everything you do has value throughout your entire life for these parasites feeding off your sweat equity. They bind you in admiralty maritime jurisdiction for fines and forfeitures because you broke one of their very many rules that you unwittingly consented to. You are taken in court and sent or, or sent fines and taxes, all for the profit of the slave masters to which you are consenting to by your acquiescence. You are worked all of your life under the illusion of bettering yourself, only to have the last portion of your life left for yourself, which they have deemed unproductive. You are left by the wayside, uncared for and forgotten. But no, but not so, should I say. They wait to your death. This is when the final piss take comes in secret. Imagine how much your money has accumulated since you were 15 years and five months. Your bond has been traded and the fund has accumulated a fortune. I would say if you wish to find out, I've got the instructions here, but there's no point because it's been removed now and you can't actually find it anymore. So there's no point in me telling you about that. Um, but that fund is not for you, it's for them. It should be yours and it was set up for you, but it's been created as them, but now you're dead. And they can close the trust and fill their coffers once again without even a thank you. Not even the cost of your funeral will they let slip from these coffers. Your loved ones must pay for this too. And never know, they are all secret millionaires, if not billionaires. While they get into debt to burn, <laughs> bury what these parasites discarded like trash once the fund had stopped turning. Wake up to the deceit, folks. This concerns all of us. We all need to learn what they do and how they do it. This is the only relief from the constant bombardment of fraudulent claims that skews. Sorry, it got cut, so this is gonna have to be put together. It got stopped because people ringing me. I don't know how it cut it off, but it did. But here's where I got up to, folks. And um, wake up to the deceit folks this concerns all of us we all need to learn what they do and how they do it this is the only relief from the constant bombardment of fraudulent claims that you will kill yourself paying in a never-ending torrent throughout your life learn how they force you to be the dead entity for profit and how to stand on the knowledge that you have learned rebut these claim and keep what's yours 
Reclaim your life with just knowing who you are in the trust relationship. You are the beneficiary, they are the trustee. The trustee position holds all liability. You set the positions of who is who within the trust. They trick you into setting yourself as trustee to make you liable for the fines and forfeitures that they are about to hit you with. With just the knowledge of who you are, you can rebut these claims. This is only knowledge, folks. Learn something new every day and you will in due course know exactly who you are and how your life will be improved immeasurably. Over the last couple of years, much knowledge has hit the forefront of this movement. This is because of the hard work of many dedicated folks burning themselves up bringing this information to you. Here lies your relief and remedy. Here lies your cure and maintenance. Don't be discouraged just because you can't comprehend the word being spoken. Ask and you will know. Ask often and you will learn much. Then the conversations will make sense. If you are new to this, we were all where you are right now. We, are, we were all in awe of the knowledge of our peers, the strange language they spoke, but it is only words. Imagine how pass me the salt sounds in Korea. It is just salt, and this is just contracts and consent. Just words with meanings. Learn the meaning, stand on the knowledge, folks. We can only lead you to water and hold your head under for so long. When we let you up, it's your choice what you take from the experience. A wise man or woman would see the value and learn a little. We're all still learning. Let he who be deceived be deceived. Equity favours the vigilant. That was written by me quite some time ago. And to be honest, there's no point in me saying any more, is there? Folks, learn some stuff. I hope that one's been of use when I get it stitched together. And uh, I will load it up. Ta-da.